What's going on, guys? It is your boy. Dumbzo Danino. And welcome to part number four of Sonic Adventure 2 for the Xbox 360 and the Sega Dreamcast. What's going on, guys? Today is November 15, 2024. And right before I get started with this video, I want to go tell you guys to go check me out on YouTube, check me out on Twitch. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and all that great stuff to keep up with me. Um, very engaging, so if you guys catch me on Twitch, don't be afraid to say hi. Um, uh, so yeah, guys, in the last part, in part number three, we went ahead and we finished up the Hero Saga. Uh, it was pretty cool. I, you know, I liked the way it ended. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. But my biggest uh, cliffhanger was how is that going to mash in with the dark side, right? With the, the evil arc and shit like that. So that's exactly what we're going to find out today as I start part number one. And as, as you can see, yes, the fight is about to start. Let's get it going. I'm watching it right here. I'm just giving my intro and I'm going to play and I'm going to watch it right here in the corner. I hope it's a good fight. We'll see what's up. Get the keg ready. Yes, I will get the keg. That is for tomorrow, though, not for this bunk-ass fight. I got a 32 ounce, so if that helps. Um, God damn it, Brandon, shout out to him. Love that guy. Real stand-up guy right there. If you if you find Brandon at the at the casino, at your local casino, please take him to the Lost and Found. He needs to go home. Um, but in all seriousness, guys, uh, he, he kind of made me lose my train of thought. Um, but yeah, and basically in this part, we're going to figure out what the what the evil arc is for um sonic adventure 2 so that's basically the goals for this video is just to get it started i don't think i'm gonna stream for too long because um i'm watching the fights right here so literally as we go you might see me be like oh shit this or oh shit that and it's gonna be because i'm watching the fights right here um my home is the nino fuck dude you might as well start paying rent over there buddy um but yeah, guys, as like I said, as as I'm playing this game, I'm gonna be watching the Mike Tyson and the and the and the Jake Paul fight right here. It's literally about to start. My personal opinion, I I think Jake Paul, Jake Paul knows what he's doing. Yes, I understand it's Mike Tyson, but we gotta keep into consideration it is the older Mike Tyson. And well, he doesn't, he's not that well, or he's not as good as he was, as I'm trying to say. And there the rules here are definitely a little a little skewed. I think they're there to help Mike Tyson, but I think at the end of the day, it might hurt him. That's just my personal opinion, but I mean, we'll obviously, we're, we'll obviously see how the fight turns out right now. Um, but yeah, guys, as far as updates for the channel, let's see, update, update, update. I don't have too many. I know I keep beating the dead record by saying I got this fucking Washington vlog that I'm going to do. I'm just going to not mention it anymore. But it is, it is there. So I got to just find time to do it. Um, but yeah, guys, I don't got too many more updates. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Without further ado, this is part number four of Sonic Adventure 2. And we are going to start the, oh shit, the hero arc. So right before I switch over, let me get it started. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna actually take out one thing because I'm watching it on my phone. I kind of want to hear the audio. So I'll just do it like this. But I do hope that you're having a good day, Brandon. M2626. So we'll see what this uh, Mike Tyson fight turns out to be. Um, all right, guys, let's get right into it. And because this is a fucking 32 ounce, this counts as three beers in my opinion, so hit it, bitches. Hey, give me another beer, bitch. Hey, give me another beer, bitch. Hey, give me another beer, bitch. Alright, that's three beers, bitches. So cheers to Brandon. Cheers to Logan or uh, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. We'll see how this turns out. Cheers. Interesting. 
Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Security breach at gate 3. Intruder has been located in the north quadrant and is moving in the direction of the underground base. So I'm assuming that this is basically when, where Shadow breaks out. Emergency battle formations. Standard battle procedures initiated. Locate and stop the intruder from entering the security area. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Oh, there's Eggman's fat ass. Oh wait, so Eggman is breaking into something. Why? I thought you created Shadow. So what it looks like is the military created Shadow, but fucking Eggman is breaking in to get him. So basically, Eggman is tails. Alright, they're about to start. Okay, this is kind of interesting right here. Interesting. Okay. How do I go? Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's fucking hard to pay attention to both. <laughs> Gotta move this over here some. Yeah, this is exactly what Tails is like. It's like the same machine and everything, so... All I hope is that whenever we do rogue mission, I don't have to look for these fucking gems. Mike Tyson definitely looked very slow. Yeah, that it sucks to see, man. I don't I don't really like seeing that type of shit. Cause it's clear that Mike Tyson shouldn't be fighting, but And well he had a whole fucking thing happen to him, right? He <clears throat> They well they had this fight scheduled for a lot earlier this year, but they ended up not doing it because they they deemed that Tyson was not fit to fight or something, right? So I don't fucking get why they're still having him do it. I mean, I know at the end of the day, it's all business, show business and shit. But dude, Mike Tyson should not be fighting. And I say this with the most respect. I don't say this to say that Mike Tyson sucks. I don't say this to say that he doesn't, that his legacy don't mean shit if he doesn't fight Jake Paul. I'm not saying any of that shit. What I'm just trying to get at is that Mike Tyson is not who he was. And I, I mean, he did a lot for the sport. So to see him go through this, you know, it's, it kind of just sucks. Basically all Jake Paul has though, he he just landed a nice overhand, or overhand right, he usually always gets that. Oh, he's closing the, the 
pocket. Is it just me, guys, or does this fucking ring look like it's a lot bigger? That does not favor um, Jake Paul at all. I mean, uh, Mike Tyson at all. Oh, I need to get up there. I need to get that fucking rock. How do I get up there? Oh, wait, I have to stand on this thing. What does that do? Oh, so this is where they want me to do the missile. Oh, yeah. So there goes round two. We're about to start round three. I haven't really been paying attention to the fight like that, guys, but it definitely does look that. Uh, or I don't know. Brandon, are you still here? Are you still here? What do you think? Hey, rank C. Fuck yeah. Cutscene, what are we? Oh, we're they think this is where we get shadow. So, this is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Oh, so it's still like an embryo or like an egg or whatever. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. So shadow with these little fucking glider shoes. <clears throat> so real quick, that was the first time we met Shadow. This is the first time. Well, I'm gonna pause it right now. So this is the first time I've ever seen the introduction of Shadow. I was introduced to him back in Sonic Heroes, but this is the legit first time me seeing how he got introduced into the series. I have a few questions. I thought Eggman created him, one. And two, it turns out that it's the military. So why the fuck did the military create Shadow? Does fucking Sonic have debts with, like, the US or something? Or was this a different government, like Russia or some shit, that created him? I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully we find these answers, but... Fuck Shadow, you did that way too fast. Okay, I'm dead. <clears throat> this is Scorpion Troops Hotshot. Enemy movement has been detected. En route to intercept and destroy. Coming out. Aim for the cockpit. Aim for the cockpit.
So if he shoots missiles, when the fuck can I actually engage with this bitch ass? Alright, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Just aim for the cockpit, but... He blew himself up right there, huh? How the fuck did that happen? I gotta rewatch that. That's what you get, you stupid B3 bitch ass machine. We got shit on Shadow. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you. In the central control room on the space <coughs> colony arc. arc. Oh, here we go. But I've said it once. I've said it twice. I'll say it a third fucking time. Knuckles and rope. Just need to go to Pound Town. They gotta. They need a fuck. Pause just too fast for him. All right, fuck, bro. It's definitely the missions that I didn't want to do. Hopefully, it's quick though, man. signs of no fucking Thank <laughs> you. 
the water. Oh, this water. What the fuck am I supposed to do? What floating fucking turtle, dude? This is why I hate this, like, these specific missions. They don't give you any, any information. Stupid as fuck, clearly. No secret. I really need to see where the fuck that fro that damn uh, turtle came from. I didn't fucking see no turtle. Free 
Maybe I just have to go back. Oh, that's the little... I think that's the place where we came from. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't invest, like, heavily into watching this fight because it's... It's fucking bullshit. Alright. So, I'm close. This fight was terrible. Oh! And he gets on top of those palm trees. I can't respect uh, Jake Paul for this. If you look at the end, he did. He decided not to fight them, and it was clear as day that he didn't engage with them for obvious reasons. I don't think he wanted to like really knock him out or hurt him. So I can respect that from Jake Paul. It's all right. I can't respect that. This fucking hat is putting red marks on my head, cutting blood flow. So let's watch. I'm gonna put the end of this. Where's the 
last one. Oh, the last one's around here again. It went red on me whenever I crossed over here. Why did they make Rose built like that? Thick as fuck. Quicksand. Alright, that's enough of this. If, um, if they really have anything that's worth saying, I'm sure I could find that uh, on Twitter or some shit. Damn, bro. Okay, I. I gotta, I gotta pay attention on this one, guys. I really do. I, I'm not paying attention whatsoever. Yeah, at all. like blowing up though I thought this guy had everything at the palm is up of his hand I 
At least I got a checkpoint. Fucking hate these quicksand missions, man. Especially with the stupid robot, because he can't jump out of it. I got fucking blasted on the side during. Fuck, almost fell off right there. I'm surprised he didn't take fall damage. I honestly thought he would have. I wish I got the little glider um, upgrade. Okay, this looks like this might be the end. This thing might come in useful. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh. Well, duh. What do you guys think? I think it's a D. D for Dumzo Danino. What? That was too close. Fuck. <laughs> no. <sighs> With the Chaos Emerald in the Space Colony Ark. I've got to find out just what's going on up there.
We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break-in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only the thing that was stolen emerald. was the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world-renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying ah. the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned for Sounds more, more details. Sounds like the work of Shadow. That's why everybody's uh, trying to take down Sonic. Because they say they're trying to print it as Shadow or something. I don't get it still. So, <clears throat> was he always a hedgehog or was he man made? Oh, you know what? Okay, so I think, I think it's clicking to me. Shadow, this shadow right here, that's a legit shadow. Like, that's a le the legit life form of shadow. I think he's a real hedgehog. Or I don't know, to be quite honest. But where I'm getting with this, guys, is that... Because in Sonic Heroes... Remember at the end where they open up that room and there's just a bunch of shadows? And then there was a fucking... Like, this capsule that had a shadow and all of them supposedly were created by Eggman? So what I'm thinking is that this is the introduction of Shadow, right? So Eggman tries to make clones of Shadow to be able to take down Sonic. Because whatever happens at the end of this game... I'm assuming he might die or he runs away. Eggman wanted to um, preserve that and use that to his advantage to, data, to take down Sonic. Mm. So, the, so then the shadow that we play as on Sonic Heroes is just a clone, which makes sense. I cracked the code. Give me a fucking raise. I'm a private investigator now. No, I'm just kidding. But that, that's what I'm thinking right now, guys. I... Kind of got distracted right now. I was on my phone. You can't even do a ring dash. What the fuck? Oh no, I have to go over here. I was about to say what's in that fucking crate. Oh Alright, let's just open this crate. Oh. Fuck! I always suck at that shit. There we go. No! 
Don't give me that shit. There you go. got to put the damn guardrail right there that's a fucking highway on city fucking property who the fuck approved that somebody needs to go reinspect that shit what kind of bullshit was that fucking press charges on the city fucking bitches somebody could get really hurt You see? You see? Who the fuck does that? God damn it. Shitty ass engineers and inspectors probably just try to save money without putting it there. Because they would think that the momentum would push them out. So they didn't need it. Stupid. Fucking stupid. Um. But yeah, guys. I think I'm gonna stop it right here. Let's see if we get another cutscene, and, and if we do, I'll let the cutscene go. But Maybe I, I, I have a- Yeah, enough. D for Dazzo Donino! Dumbzo Donino. Um... But yeah, I think I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is, uh... If there's- Yeah, there's a cutscene, so let's- What? What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on! The military has been taking me for the likes of you! So, where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! So it's gonna go to Rogue. Yeah, I ain't gonna fucking do her shit. Fuck her. This is Rude. I've located Eight Man's base and will proceed to enter it now. <sighs> I hate to say it. I guess I'm going to have to find that key first. <clears throat> Alright, no, I'm cool. I'm gonna do her shit. I already told you, I'm tired of that hoe. Um, so yeah, guys, that pretty much concludes part number four of Sonic Adventure 2. Um, so yeah, quick recap. We started the Shadows, or the Shadows, 
<clears throat> we started the um, the evil saga. I don't know what you want to call it. The evil people arc. I don't. I don't know. Basically, the bad guys. So we got introduced to Shadow, and I have a lot of uh, skepticism. I have a lot of <clears throat> my own takes and my own opinion. So we'll just. We'll just roll with it and see uh, what else we could figure out from Shadow and all that. Because remember, this this is the first time I'm playing this game, guys. For however many years this game has been out, this is the first time I'm playing it. So it, everything's new to me. I have my own thoughts, my own, you know, skepticism and shit like that. So I'm I'm very I'm very amused and and very. Um, intrigued as far as how the story development's gonna go with shadow which is cool i think it's dope as fuck i, I think the way that they're introducing him is pretty cool his whole background with this maria chick I'm, i don't know too much about that i really don't understand it a whole lot but so far it's, it's been pretty cool um eggman i eggman's gonna be eggman you know he's doing whatever the fuck he feels like he's doing is right but i his missions are just like Tails. They're they're cool. They're mid. I like Shadow's missions and I like Sonic's missions because it's very fast paced, and it's like the rest of the other uh, 3D Sonic platformer games, you know. Um, and Rogue, I just fucking hate those types of missions, man. I would be fucking completely honest. So, but yeah, guys, that pretty much does it for me. Remember to go on my Twitch, follow me, all that great stuff. Don't be afraid to stop stop by. Shout out to Brandon M twenty six twenty six for stopping by um chatting me up it could be you you can come here and chat me up you know i'm don't be shy i'm i'm willing to talk to you guys um but yeah also to go to my youtube check me out over there if you like this video like comment and subscribe all that great stuff until then peace and fucking chicken grease i'll see you guys at part number five of shadow the hedgehog did i say shadow the hedgehog i'm a fucking dumbass um Sonic Adventure 2 for the Sega Dreamcast and Xbox 360. See you guys in the, uh, in the next part.